newly hatched sea turtles scurrying across the sand toward the ocean's shoreline to begin their lives in the sea is the inspiration for this charming seaside artwork. It's easy and fun to create using mostly Dollar Tree items. Thanks for joining me on my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Lisa, and now let's dive in. To make this project, you'll need a wooden round from either Dollar Tree or Amazon. You'll also need some blue paints and some white paint. I use the Waverly white chalk paint. You'll also want some of these glittered embellished trim from Dollar Tree. I also have a jar of crushed seashells from Michaels. That's not essential. You could always use small seashells for your outer border. Here you can see I'm putting on a strip of painter's tape at a slight angle about one third of the way up the wooden round. Then I'm going to use a mixture of blue paints along with some white paint to give the paint the color of an ocean. Now the ocean, as you know, changes so much depending on the light, but I thought adding some of the blue along with some of the Key West color from Apple Barrel, as well as some of the white plaster from Waverly made a nice combination. I applied it using a sponge brush. The wood is rather absorbent, so you'll want to be certain that you apply enough paint to get a nice coverage. After giving it a good coating of the blue, I decided it needed more of an aqua tone, so I added some additional Key West by Apple Barrel. I mixed that into the bowl, and I also directly applied some over the surface. I thought that gave it a pretty shimmery color, as well as adding some dimension. We want the sea to look as though it blends right into the skyline. For the next step, you'll want to mix a cocoa brown color along with some more of the white, Waverly, or you could use the Folk Art. They both make a very nice creamy white color. Here, I'm adding the Waverly white plaster into the cocoa brown, and I'm also pouring in some white sand. I purchased this jar from Michaels, but Dollar Tree also has the white sand in plastic bags, along with other colored sand. Adding in the white along with the cocoa brown and mixing in the sand, the goal is to get the look of a sandy beach. Once you have your paints and sand nicely blended, the consistency should be rather thick. Just spread it evenly over the lower surface of the round using the sponge brushes. It applies very easily and with a little imagination, you'll soon see how your wooden round has transformed into the perfect backdrop for some eager, newly hatched sea turtles. As soon as the painting is complete, allow it to dry for a couple of hours. Once it's completely dry, you can see how the painter's tape comes off very easily and leaves nice crisp lines between the two sections. You'll want to fill in that middle band with either some glittery paper or some beautiful fabric or something that will create a lovely transition between the sandy shoreline and the start of the ocean waters. I had this piece of sparkle paper that came in a package of scrap papers uh, from Dollar Tree, but you can easily find comparable paper, either a scrapbooking paper, or as I mentioned, perhaps a beautiful fabric. Having some glittered texture really does add a beautiful dimension. The next step is to take some of this sparkly trim from Dollar Tree and use it to outline both sides of that band that you've inserted. It adheres very nicely and it gives that those edges a lovely decorative detailed finish. 
If you look closely, you can see that that bordered edge has movement to it. And again, I thought it was evocative of the waves and motion of the ocean water. Dollar Tree has a lot of decorative adhesive trim. And if you can't find this one, I think you'll most likely be able to find another similar one. You'll want to use the blue and you'll want it to have lots of sparkle and shine to catch the light in pretty ways, just as the waves do on the ocean's shoreline. And now the really fun part happens as you'll create the little sea turtles and show them scurrying across the sand, following each other eagerly as they go into the splash of the ocean waters. The movement of the scene really does take on a life of its own. Making the little sea turtles is so easy. All you need is a bag of the flat marbles from Dollar Tree. Purchase them in the pretty blue color and hot glue them in a nice arrangement along the sand, over the border, and into the water. That will give that movement a special charm. Then, to make the little heads and feet and tail, all you need to do is use some little pieces off of your glittered embellishing trim. I just cut the little heads, the little feet, and the little tails from those beads. They are self-adhesive, so they adhere nicely, but if you'd like to reinforce it, you can use just a little tiny bit of hot glue on the back side. To the lower portion in the foreground, I added those crushed shells, which I mentioned I purchased from Michael's in a jar. I added them using a little bit of hot glue on the back side of each. You could also use small shells as a nice decorative border. To display this happy scene, you can purchase one of the $3 easels from the Dollar Tree Plus and add a little decorative border to match your artwork. I think you'll love seeing this project come to life. And now for our next seaside inspired project, I'm using some oyster shells that I purchased from an Etsy seller. I bought them already painted with the gold gilded edge. You can always do that yourself, um, but I just decided to get these and I was very pleased with the quality. I'm also using a decorative napkin that I purchased from Amazon. I will put the information for both of these sources in the description below. I am separating the napkin as you can see because it's two ply and all we want is the upper layer that has the design. Along with making the sea turtles, this is honestly one of my favorite projects ever. Learning this technique opens up so many possibilities for decorating these oyster shells. They can be made as ring holders, little trinket holders. They can be purchased pre-drilled so you can make Christmas ornaments. You could make 3D designs inside. Here you can see I'm arranging the image so that it will sit nicely on the inside of the shell. I'm trying to capture some of the highlights of the design. Obviously the space is limited, but I wanna get that seagull in the sky. I wanna get some of the roof line, some of the porch and sandy beach. So I'm cutting broadly around the section of the image that I want to have visible. You'll want to cut the image, as I said, broadly, because you want it to actually overhang the inside of the shell. Don't worry that there's extra. You're going to cut that off later. So what we're going to do now that we have a portion of this image all set to adhere, we're going to lay it out just to get a sense of where we want to place it. Then we're going to take a paintbrush and some Mod Podge mat, and we're going to use the paintbrush to simply apply a layer of the Mod Podge to the inside of the oyster shell. 
You can find the Mod Podge at Dollar Tree. I purchased this larger bottle from Michaels and you can see that I'm using a Dollar Tree paintbrush to just apply it very carefully on the interior of the oyster shell. I'm avoiding the gilded edge because we will not want our image to adhere to that decorative border. After you apply a nice even coat of the Mod Podge to the inside of the oyster shell, again avoiding the gilded edge, then you'll be ready to take your napkin and lay it in position as shown. Use your finger to gently press out any wrinkles or air bubbles. Just make it as smooth as you can while being very gentle with it because once it's wet, it becomes more fragile. After it's nice and smooth, you'll want to add another coat of Mod Podge, this time topically, so that it seals over the image and will dry clear and give it a nice sealed finished effect. At this stage, you need to be very, very gentle with your movements because the napkin is wet and it can tear very easily. Now I'm just cutting off some of the excess paper and then we'll allow it to dry. It's so beautiful. You're going to really love this finished effect. After it dried thoroughly, the napkin was very stiff and I was able to use those delicate scissors to make fine detailed cuts around that gilded edge. Now it's a pleasure to show you just how versatile this project is. I'm using now this darling little bunny napkin with the florals and using the same technique, you can see another beautiful project has been made. These are so much fun and I think we can explore these options uh, in endless ways. This next project is really easy. All you need are some seashells and this Rust-Oleum mirror effect spray paint. We're going to take already lovely shells and glam them up a bit. I took them outside and put them in this cardboard box and using the spray paint, I sprayed a nice coating on all surfaces. I let it dry well between coats and also flipped them over so all sides were covered. Then I brought them inside after they had dried for a couple of hours and I'm using some of the same glittery trim uh, wrap that Dollar Tree sells and I'm decorating the edges of the shells. You can do this in a variety of ways as you can see how I'm demonstrating. This time I'm using some of the glittered trim that has pearls and I'm just going along that opened edge applying it in different ways to each shell makes it a more interesting display. These I think would just be beautiful as place settings at your ta dining table. I also was thinking how nice these would be at a wedding reception. You could have the table numbers on each shell and as guests arrived, they could be given a shell showing their table number. I was at a reception once at a vineyard and they did it with corks. So I got the, the idea that this would be a beautiful um, beach inspired theme. You can see here all the different ways that you can use this glittered trim and create some really um, glam designs. Here I put it in a centerpiece I had made using two Dollar Tree items, a plate and bowl glued together created this pedestal dish and I put a Dollar Tree candle in the center that I had also embellished with some of the glittered trim and one of the flat marbles. I hope you've enjoyed these projects. I look forward to having you visit again. In the meantime, take care and God bless. I'll have a new project video uploaded within the next few days.